kickboxer Floyd Mayweather and UFC champion Conor McGregor have officially weighed in for their big fight Saturday night, both measuring up below that 154-pound limit. The notorious Conor McGregor weighs in at already 153 pounds. 149 and a half. 149 and a half. weighs in at a trim and ready 149 and one half pounds. The two contenders went face to face with McGregor goading the undefeated boxer before a raucous crowd at T-Mobile Arena. Mayweather 5 to 1 favorite here to win that bout, which could be one of the richest in history, generating almost $700 million. Bookies could lose big, though, if the Irish fighter comes out on top. Well, there you Let's bring in it. our expert panel on this. Mike Bond, a sports reporter with USA Today and Rolling Stone, and he's at the weigh-ins in Las Vegas. Sparter Jones, of course, former Canadian boxer and boxing commentator, joins us in our Toronto studio. Thanks for joining us today, gentlemen. Thank you no for problem. having me. Spider, let me start with you. Connor's a UFC fighter. So what will be his biggest challenge in making that crossover into the ring? Well, the biggest challenge is going to be to try to hit, hit a guy in Mayweather, one of the best defensive fighters I've seen since the days of Archie Moore. Slip, slide, counter beautifully. He's going to have to be aggressive, uh, and, and he's going to have to go after him, going to try to have to get him along the ropes to hurt him. All right, Mike, you're in Las Vegas. What's been the atmosphere uh, around this fight for tomorrow? Well, it really, really picked up today. The Irish are here in full force. Earlier in the week, the press conference, it wasn't open to the public. They didn't do an open workout or anything like that. So you didn't really get to feel the, the buzz from the fans. But today, being in that arena, it's hard to kind of describe the atmosphere that's like just the Irish fans show up unlike anything I've ever seen to support Conor McGregor more so than, you know, any fighter I've ever seen covering any combat sports. So it's just, it's an unbelievable atmosphere. You're already seeing fans outside the venue, uh, Irish fans getting arrested because they're so drunk. It's mid-afternoon. It's just, it's a wild scene. <laughs> yeah, Vegas after all, I guess. All right, Spider, let's talk a little bit about the difference in age. You talked about the skills uh, that Mayweather has, but there's also a significant age difference, and sometimes that can factor in. Do you think it will in this case? I don't think so, but that's a, that's a good question because uh, uh, Mayweather hasn't fought in, 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 in quite a while. I think the biggest question here is going to be, is he ru ring rusty, and how long will it take him to shake it off? Look... Uh, you got to give uh, Connor Connor the credit. Here's a guy that was a, a held two uh, uh, titles simultaneously in UFC. He's a tough guy, good puncher, strong guy. Uh, Mayweather's got a uh, probably going to have to weather in the eye of the storm for a little while until he can. Uh, uh, but then again, he might just come out and, and go after uh, Connor. I don't think that'll happen, but it, it, it's, it's it's hard to tell. Ring rust. I'm not sure if, 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 that's, if that's a factor here because he's such a great defensive fighter. That's his craft. And he is so much farther ahead of, of, of Conor McGregor in terms of boxing skill. And they're fighting under boxing rules. Yeah, so, Mike, let me ask you, what do fans uh, say? What are they expecting? Because this could be a, a fight that gets, well, it's done before it all begins because of that. You have a man who's not a boxer facing a man with a lifetime of boxing experience. Well, yeah, I think okay. for Connor, he has to come out and he has to really try to end this fight early. If this thing is going into the eighth round, ninth round, tenth and beyond, I think that's really bad news for Connor. He just the pacing of a boxing fight so much different than an MMA fight. It's a longer fight, uh, shorter rounds, but still, it's just a completely different scenario. So I think Connor is going to go out there, try to be really aggressive and knock him out early. And for Floyd, I think he's just going to fight smart like he always does. He like. We were just saying he's an amazing defensive boxer. And for him, Floyd is a very risk-averse type of fighter. He's going to go in there and he's going to do whatever he has to do to win. He's saying all this stuff about, oh, I'm going to move forward. I'm going to, you know, take the center of the of the ring, et cetera, et cetera. But I think for him, he's going in there with the mentality that he needs to win seven of these 12 rounds. And then he walks away with a nine-figure payday. So yeah. for him, I think he's just going to go in there and do, you know, whatever it takes to win. And oh. unfortunately, if that means a not very exciting fight, I don't think he cares. Okay, so Spider, let me ask you, when these two get into the ring, what's the first thing you're going to watch for as an indication as who's going to win? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to watch for, first of all. 
I'm going to watch the stands because that's where the best fights are going to take place. You've got <laughs> 5,000 Irishmen coming across. They love the party, love the drink. And when they see their guy getting humiliated, and believe me, he will be humiliated, people are going to start fighting in the stands. I, I, I think that Connor's going to come out and he's going to, he's going to, he's going to champ to hit him with them left hooks and fire some shots at him. But he's going to miss a lot. He's going to become frustrated. I don't see any, any, any change in the way Mayweather fights. He's very cautious, very slick, and eventually he's just going to, he's going to take him to school. He's the teacher. Connor is the student. He's <laughs> not a pugilistic expert. All right. I guess I know where Spider's money is for the fight tomorrow. Uh, let me ask you, Mike, what do you think and what are you going to be watching for the moment they step into the ring? Well, I mean, both guys are saying they're going to go forward. They're going to meet in the center of the ring. And then whoever takes you know, the first step back is going to be the one that kind of loses that first battle there. Uh, I think for Connor, it's just a matter of how much he lands. Can he land? Is he actually getting punches through or is he just hitting Floyd, you know, on the arms, on the shoulders, on the gloves, stuff like that? I think Connor, he needs to be landing big shots early and he needs to really, uh, you know, put Floyd on notice and let him know that he's part of this fight. And, you know, I'd love to be the contrarian here and say that, you know, he's going to go out there and win and stuff, but it's just really hard to pick uh, Conor McGregor to win this fight because, like we're saying, it's a guy who has never had a pro boxing fight going in and fighting someone who has be been dominant for 20 years, is 49-0, and 0, and it's just, it's just a really tall task to, you know, win this fight for Conor McGregor. So I'm looking at him to see if he can land some something significant early that changes the course of the fight, changes the complexion of what's going on. But we're talking about a guy in Floyd Mayweather who is probably the best defensive boxer ever, and doing that is a lot easier said than done. All right, so you guys are on the same side uh, of the coin <laughs> this time. All right, Conor McGregor takes on Floyd Mayweather in Vegas Saturday night pay-per-view. Mike Bond is in Las Vegas, Spider Jones in Toronto. Thank you both for joining us. Thanks for having me. Thank you.